Hi, it's Diane Roslin, and today I'm going to be doing an entree. I call it Diane's Seafood Treasure Chest, and I'll be featuring Philadelphia cream cheese. Very simple, quick, easy. I'm going to start off with, let's see, let me show you everything I have here. I've got a half a pound of um, squid. I cut the pieces up. Half a pound of mussels. I have a tilapia cut into pieces here, about this size. I used to, I like to get a thick one. They didn't have any um, cod. I have one crab cluster, and I have a pound of large shrimp, peeled, veined, and shelled. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by putting in half a cup of cubed room temperature cream cheese. Give that a good stir. You want this? This is my grandfather's actual recipe. He was from the Seychelles Islands and came to this country, I think, in 1905, 1915. Here I'm putting in two crushed cloves of garlic, and I just put in the cream cheese now using his recipe. It's going to give it a very creamy, silky texture. I use tomato juice. I don't use tomato sauce for this recipe. And I have a half a cup of coarsely chopped parsley. And I'm going to put the squid in first because this takes about six minutes to cook so it doesn't get overdone. And do that like that. Give it a good stir. This is going to be an amazing dish. So creamy. And I'm going to put it over a bed of um, black linguine. Black linguine is um, has squid ink in it, which is supposed to be very good for you. See how everything's just melting together? Oh, this looks good. And the remainder of our seafood here, I know Paula just simply loves fish and seafood. That only takes about three minutes to cook. Everything is so fresh. We've got these squid cooking up in here. The cream cheese is melting beautifully. I like to serve this with a hot crusty bread. Probably like an Italian or French bread. And this is see how beautiful this is cooking. The smell in here is gorgeous. Okay, I got my water boiling for the pasta, the black linguine. Okay, this is about three minutes on this. So now I'm going to add, whoops, my tilapia. Like I said, they didn't have cod, but you can use cod. You just drop everything in. One big pot. I love cooking with just one pot recipes. Get all those. Get that crab in there. Pound of shrimp. Oh, that is gorgeous. Give this one big good stir. Oh boy. Okay. And get this spaghetti in. Okay, this is that cool looking? I love it. It's delicious. I used to sell this in the shop. I'm going to cook this for about eight minutes. Give it a quick stir. Get it all mixed in there. That is so cool looking. Okay. All right. I'm going to let this simmer the sauce for another few more minutes. Get this pasta going, another seven minutes on this, and I'll be back. Hi, I'm back. As you can see, the black spaghetti is all cooked. That's the black ink squid spaghetti. And now I'm going to add just quickly a quarter teaspoon of Old Bay as the final mix in. Give it a good stir. And now I'm going to spoon this luscious seafood treasure chest over the spaghetti. See all that gorgeous seafood and fish. Mussels opened up beautifully. The shrimp are nice and pink. 
This is just gorgeous. This is definitely a big hit with anybody I know. It's a great, you know, get that speedy nice and saturated with the juice. There's another nice piece of tilapia. Got some more shrimp and mussels in here. Oh my gosh, this is just gorgeous. This sauce came out so nice and silky. This cream cheese definitely enhances my grandpa's recipe for sure. All right, now all I have left in here is my crab cluster. There we go. I'm going to bring this over here onto the plate. You're probably wondering why I have newspaper down on my table. It's a, from what I remember, it's always a good place for cleanup when people are cracking their crabs. So I'm going to take some shrimp. Gorgeous spaghetti. Oh, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to get some of this squid here. There's another shrimp. I want a piece of that tilapia. Here we go. Perfectly cooked. It's nice and tender. Mm-hmm. Get some more shrimp. Get a nice muscle on top there. Oops, some more spaghettis. I like to top it off with some fresh parsley. It's a nice garnish. And I have a little bowl of sauce here. This way you can dip some nice Italian bread into it. This I have, it's a hot washcloth. My guests always love when I do that because when they're done eating with all this crab and fish, always have nutcrackers out for the crab, very important. All right, let's give this a taste. It's a habit of mine, I use a spoon with my spaghetti. This is hot, some tilapia in there. Excellent. Try the squid. Oh my gosh, it's like butter. It's so tender. Six minutes for the squid. Everything else is three minutes. Pasta, of course, is eight minutes. You heat up your bread. Dip it into the sauce. And you're going to be swimming through all of this. This is delicious. Well, that's is my entree for this week. Diane's Seafood Treasure Chest in honor of Paula Dean, since she's loving fish so much. And um, as I always say, ciao for now. Bye-bye.